In this video, I want to show you guys how to get set up on Traders Post and start sending webhooks to Traders Post so you can send it to your broker or your demo account and start live trading. You should have already registered and made an account. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now. Pause the video and come back. Now, in the beginning, you're going to need to create four different things here. So to start, we need to make sure Traders Post is connected to our broker, whether that broker is a demo account or a live account. We need to have it send those alerts to that broker. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll go ahead and create webhooks, subscriptions, and strategies after. So I click that. We have a bunch of options here and we want to connect a paper broker because we're not doing live trading right away. We want to make sure we can test our alerts and make sure they're running correctly. So there is a built-in paper broker for Traders Post. You can also use paper brokers through these exchanges. You'll need to create an account with them and set up the paper broker over there before you can use it. But you can click these links here and Traders Post makes it super easy to do that. So I'll just use the Traders Post one here and I can give it a name, Traders Post Paper Broker. They give you an account to choose from, which is just this one for me. Max strategy positions. I only wanna have one position open at a time. So if I get multiple orders coming through, it'll only allow one order. Market price type, we can just keep this as nothing, but if you want, you can have it to use always the last price or always the ask, bid, ask, midpoint, or use ask for buys and bid for sales. Whatever works for you. And we'll save that. Now we have a broker. Let's go ahead and connect this broker to a strategy. We're gonna keep this as my new strategy paper. Call it that for now. You can call it whatever you want. You can change it later on. Tickers, you can have any ticker allowed. We'll just keep it for now. Email notifications if you'd like. Security, you can limit this to trading view. You can also have it go to TrendSpider. You can also limit it to IP addresses. So there's some good security in here. And we don't need to worry about that. So that is going to be a strategy. We're going to save that. And that's so people on Traders Post can go ahead and copy this strategy later on. So now we have a strategy set up. We also need to make sure that our webhook is set up. It should automatically create when you create the strategy. So you see here, webhooks are connected to my new strategy paper. Now you can view the webhook here. You can see the security features, email notifications, the tickers, and what strategy it's con connected to. This is going to be the alert syntax we're going to use for our alert. You can copy the webhook URL or generate a new one if you've exposed yours. Let's go to subscriptions. Now, this is where we enable our strategy and get it started. So we need to subscribe to our strategy. We just need to enable this strategy subscription to get it going. Once you click that, You'll come into here. This is the subscription. I've subscribed to my own strategy. And you want to click auto submit. When you receive an order from TradingView, it's going to automatically take those buys or sells. If you don't click this, then you're going to have to come in here and accept the order. Then it won't be automated trading. You want to change this to both sides, bullish and bearish, if, you, if you'd like. And then you can check out these details. I won't go through all of this. Later on, if you want, you can switch this strategy to a live broker. Right now we only have the paper broker set up. Notifications, tickers, asset classes, stocks, options, futures. You can even set a trading window in here, which is kind of cool. You can do that in PineScript obviously, but if you don't want to code that in, it's set up right here already. Same thing with position size. I like to do a default of 1% for position size, but you can also send that position size over with the strategy signal. If that is set, then it's going to use it. If not, it'll go back to the default. Same thing with canceling orders. If you have an open limit order and you get a new signal, this will automatically cancel the orders so you don't have resting, take profit, and stop losses on the order book. If you disable that, then it won't cancel any of your orders. Entry orders, by default, they'll be set to limit. You can change that to market or just keep it whatever you'd like. And then we're gonna be using these signal order types from our trading view webhook. All of these settings can be overridden by our syntax we'll be sending through the alert but you do have more control for defaults over here, which is really cool. So I'm just setting all the defaults on here just in case I miss 
sending something. Time and force, we can do good for the day, good until canceled. I usually like good until canceled. Exit market type, doesn't matter. To me, take profit percent. Let's just set this to 5% uh, as a default. And then for the stop loss, we'll do the same thing. Stop loss percent, 5%. And we'll, we'll keep it simple for now. We'll do a stop market. Once it goes beyond 5% of our entry, it'll close out the position. Retry trades that fail during trade planning. We'll keep that off. Make sure you hit save on this. And if you have any errors, it's going to let you know. The Traders Post paper broker does not support take profit orders if we use a different paper broker maybe it does so we'll have to take this off and go ahead and save it again and just set that to empty all right now it's saved we just need to click enable right here now this is ready to go we just need to grab our webhook which was under subscriptions or webhooks and we can do view right here copy that and then come over to trading view and of course we need some kind of strategy now, I just grabbed the strategy that we coded up in a previous video. It's the 50 pips a day Forex strategy. It's not the most profitable strategy. I'm running on, on Solana right here, and it's not doing too well. But I wanted to use this because it's going to open and close trades pretty quickly, so we'll be able to test it out. So how do we set this up? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All we need to do is go into the alert here and set the alert on this. So I'll come to the settings first and I'll go to the webhook URL and this is where I'll post the webhook that I just created. And I can just create this and I'm getting an alert and that's the alert condition that's sending. Now it's sending that to the webhook, but that's not the correct syntax. We also need to send the correct syntax that Traders Post is going to need in order to translate that to the broker. And that right here, here's a sample of what we can use. So this will actually work for us. Ticker, action, sentiment, quantity, price, and time. There's tons of examples. We'll just copy this and we'll see what it looks like. So I copied that. Let's create another alert. The condition is not gonna be crossing of the price. It's going to be the indicator the 50 pips per day. In the message, this is where we're going to write that code we just copied right here. We need to make sure that this is exactly as it is because this is a specific format that is going to be digested on traders post. And then they're gonna take the ticker. This will translate to the ticker that we're on. The action is going to translate from the strategy action. And because this is a strategy, it's going to take this, if we go long, it's going to say long here. If we go short, it's going to say short. Same with the market position and the quantity. It's going to send the actual amount. We're not setting quantity in here, but this will be calculated based off of the property settings. Same with the price. It'll take the price of the close and the time. Okay, so let's set that. Now we have to wait. It's going to be a while because this trade is set up to only open a trade at 7 a.m. in the morning. A set to buy stop or a sell stop at 7 a.m. That's not, I don't really want to wait that long. So I'm actually going to remove this trade start part right here. So we don't have to wait. It's just going to set a buy stop every time it's not in a position. Let me save that. Now we're getting some more orders, which is really good. I won't have to wait all day for this to happen. It looks like we just entered a trade. I'll we'll have to wait for it to exit and then send another trade before this works. I'm actually going to go down to the 10 second time frame now. So this moves a little bit quicker. And let's go and set that alert again. Now, you need to create a new alert. And the reason I wanted to show you guys this is because once you edit your code, this alert is not going to reflect those changes. Every time you create an alert, it's going to create that instance of the code that you have at that time. It's going to put it on TradingView servers and run that. Once you change your code, then you need to update your alert. This alert is no longer valid. I mean, it'll still work, but on the old code. So now this one's going to run on the 10 second time frame. I had to wait for it to execute to see if it works. If you don't want to wait all day to check your syntax, you can send a direct curl request to Traders Post to check. They give you some examples in here. If you go to the webhook section and look at your webhook, you can scroll down and see this custom code example. 
that you can use this to test your syntax. This specific code is translated inside of TradingView before it sends it over. The close is going to convert to price. Time now is going to convert to real time. Same with this is going to convert to long or short. So you'll have to be very specific when you use this. In this example, it uses SQ and it's going to buy. And that's really all we need. Let me just copy this and I'm going to go to terminal. All you need to do is paste it and hit enter. It's going to send that to the webhook. I should be able to see that pop up over here. There we go. So this is actually from earlier when it sent the alert. Soul Crossing 65. So it couldn't parse that because it wasn't JSON. So that's good to see. We got this buy on SQ from that webhook. So this way we can actually confirm the webhook is set up correctly. Now we just need to wait to make sure it's set up correctly in the alerts. And I'm going to let this run and I'll fast forward it. Okay, we got a buy exit, which won't be submitted because we weren't in a position. And hit our sell stop. You can see both alerts pop up in the logs. View them, see how they were translated. You can see sole USDT, action sell, sentiment short, quantity one, price, time. Now let's go to Trader's Post and make sure that worked. If we look at the logs here, ticker does not exist. And this can happen if you use USDT. Maybe they only accept USD or USDC. There's only one way to find out. We can do the curl. So let's, let's post that in there, format it. I'll curl that and grab this. This part is the response we got earlier. We don't want to copy that. So we'll copy this curl. If you get stuck, just control C to quit. All right, this part here, let's see if that works. Ticker does not exist. Forgot to remove the USDT. Let's do that. Still, the ticker does not exist. So allow any ticker stocks. That's why we're, we're sending crypto. So switch this to crypto, save. All right, let's try it now. And it seems to have worked. Success, true. Now let's look at the logs. Sell, sold, USD. Success. Now I want to see if USDT will work because the real problem was the, we had set up the wrong assets. Let's see. Sell, it worked. This should automatically update, but I'm going to refresh. Cool. So we got USDT and USD. So that works fine. Now we can check our strategy. Notice how we only have one pending trade. It's because we only allowed one trade at one time. And this is queued for the day because the stock market is closed. You can close this. We've rejected this trade. Let's submit this one again. Let's look at the trades. Unsupported asset class. The trade went through, but with the Traders Post paper broker, crypto is not in this asset class. Or maybe it's USDT. This is why we need to experiment. Nope, soul is not in there either. So I figured out the issue. We need to go into the asset class under our subscriptions as well and change that. I had it on stocks and change it to whatever asset class we're trading. It'd be nice if there was an all feature, but it's only one at a time. So select crypto, save that. I did that already. I sent a new order and it worked. Now we can view our trades here. This one was completed. Sold USD, market sell. And it's showing here that I am in a market sell and I've made plus 20 cents. You can see my open positions. If you want, you can close all the positions from here, which is pretty cool. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to leave the troubleshooting stuff in here. I hope this helped you guys out. It takes time to get set up and troubleshoot things. So that's why I want you to see what I did to get it working properly. See you in the next video.